right, this is it. The finale of No SP2. And what a great last level it is. A very long track, actually, for the music. Uh, this part, it was quite challenging for me to do just when I was scrolling through the levels first time, but I, I feel pretty consistent with it now. It's got conveyor belts, and if you hit the teleporters, you die. I mean, this is truly an iconic level. And here it is, the fourth and final time that we'll get the infinite rocket launcher. Really, my strat for this is just to get to the end of the horde. And, you know, we got a rocket launcher, we got a hallway, perfect. There's such an interesting song choice because it, it's like this ominous beginning, but then from here on out, it, it's like, you know, techno-y dance music or whatever. I don't know music. I'm just saying it seems pretty, pretty chipper. especially with the map being called Shattered, an appropriate title for the last map of the set. Thank you so bad for the Revenant video. Go slow to the side and then quick to the other side. This might be... You know what? Yeah, I'll say. I think this is the best map 30 that I've played. This fight right here really makes me wish there was more infinite rocket launcher. Being able to do this maneuver with the arachnotrons is just so nice. Going slow to the side with the retreat, it's just very good and how you're able to push in. But it's not like the BFG, though it's so powerful. So really my goal here is just grab the BFG, grab an invuln, and then we're going to just run by everybody. Because once we hit the switch all the way down there, um, everything opens up. There are gonna be so many monsters. Uh, a lot of them are cybers. Oh, that was lucky. But we gotta deactivate the cybers, so we'll be running away to do that. Hit a switch to telefrag them. We are on boom, it is map 30, so telefragging is a thing with uh, decorations, uh, just like map 30 of Sunlust. Though similar effects are possible in MBF 21 with like insta-kill floors or things of that nature. So I'm less familiar with it. So yeah, here we go. Notice I got that second shot in before grabbing the chain guns. And we just burn our way through, ignoring the massive amount of cybers. And this is a bit of a harder um, go down the thingy section with the conveyors, but eh, you, you know, you practice it a little bit, hope you don't get shot by a cyber. Then they get telefragged, and we're just gonna chill back here. 
Um, I think the amount of kills... Ooh, do I remember? There's no backtracking, so you have to get it. I don't know if I remember the amount. I think it ends in an 8. I think it ends in an 8 or a 4, digit-wise. Usually I would just memorize the last digit, because, I mean, what are the odds you're going to be off by exactly 10? <coughs> Pretty low. But sometimes it'll happen, right? Hasn't happened to me yet. So yeah, now we're just shooting the internal rocket launcher. Usually I fast forward, but the internal rocket launcher is cool. And now I can use this time to talk about North V2 as a whole. And how I think this map might embody what I think No SP2 is about more than any of the others. It doesn't need to be a super long map. It can be a little gimmicky. You get a ton of ammo. The forces seem overwhelming. But at the end of the day, I believe that no reason believes He thinks the maps are hard, but he also thinks he'll get it. And also, kinda kinda goofy. I mean, listen to the song. I don't know why I'm waiting here. Was I checking my phone? I was checking my phone, wasn't I? Okay, yeah, it was eight. That's crazy, I still remember that. I died here a few times, silly. If you hit the edge of the teleporter, then, you know, you stop getting pulled by the conveyor, so you anticipate way less, way more friction than there is, and messes you up. <laughs> so now we have a little platforming section, or I guess, nukage rhythm? I have some practice with nukage rhythm, so this wasn't too bad. And it really doesn't matter if you're perfect, as long as you don't get hit, like, all the time. I think I had actually the most deaths overall um, in this part. I would mess up this jump, I would just fall off right there. Or, you'll see, I take a really long time to line this one up. The one that fails uh, sometimes. So, you know, line it up with the map and go. On a controller, it's actually kind of hard to get a perfect SR50. I died here more than the final fight, which is crazy. <clears throat> it's not this one, and it's not the next jump. I think it's the one after it that's really hard. Yeah, yeah. It's this one. So I actually used the keyboard for this jump to ensure that I would get a full SR50. Thanks to the DSDA guys for enabling keyboard all the time. <coughs> See, I'm taking extra long to align myself. Most of the jumps aren't that tight. I mean, I'm just running fast, but some of them are. So now it's time for the final encounter. It's an absurd amount of arch files from the left, and a lot of bruisers in the center. So what I try to do is stand in a way that the vials get caught in the side bruisers, and then I just hope they die. See all those vials? I died once in this fight, which 
is crazy since I would die here most of the time in practice. So, I don't know, maybe I got lucky. But if you can get past that initial rush with all the vials, you're pretty much good. You can push through for some megaspheres or ammo or whatever. But now we're, we're pretty much good to go. And you know, don't go too hard on the BFG except for the pains and stuff, because you don't want to get the vials mad at you. I was actually talking about this with, um, I forget if it was on stream or maybe it was just with one person. But Look at this disgusting final room. It is so ugly. Um, I don't know. I think that says something. Simultaneously, this level is so climactic. I mean, look at this fight. All the vials, all the bruisers, the nearly infinite ammo, and then the fight before with all those cybers, it being special with the weird platforming conveyor stuff. But also, where do you end up? Just this pit. I don't know. I'm so willing to like personify no SB2 and say ridiculous things like how it earns the the gravitas or the drama of making such a climactic final showdown, but then it doesn't accept it. No reason says no, these are speed maps. I'm not taking it that seriously. So yeah, I have a bit more of a positive opinion of map 30 than 29, I'll admit that. Ooh, is this the first map since... No, 27th and Tevin SSG. So that's it. We are done with no SP2. Uh, there are some platforming maps, map 31, 32. Uh, sorry, 33, 34. I probably won't be beating them. And that's it. I actually am going to do something a little weird and just let the end sound play for a little bit. because I don't think I've let it play before, really. But I want that to be how my No SB2 series ends, unless I make another video uh, summarizing, summarizing the whole thing. Oh.